started. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Summer for Four. So today, guys, I'm gonna do my Barcelona versus Sevilla preview. Now, by the way, guys, if you guys couldn't tell, I'm actually pre-recording a lot of these videos because I'm gonna be super busy tomorrow, so I won't have enough time to dedicate myself to do this. So hope you guys do not mind, and that this is coming out before even the press conference is gonna happen tomorrow. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk about this game. Let's go and look at the stats for this game first. Let's look at the win probability. So Barcelona is expected to win in 74%. Draw is 17% and Sevilla is 9%. As you guys can see in the league table, Barcelona is currently sitting at the top of the league with 50 points. As Sevilla, they're currently 13th place, 21 points. They're battling relegation. Let's go ahead and read the timeline for this. Barcelona have not had in the last 14 games Barca had not lost in the last 14 games against Sevilla and La Liga since a 2-1 defeat in October 2015, keeping five clean sheets in the last seven against the competition. Sevilla have not won away any of their last 19 visits to Barca and La Liga, with the last triumph there coming in December 2002 with Joaquin Carreras, Caparas' coach, 3-0 game played as, played as a player by current Blagana boss, Xavi Hernandez. Barca on 50 points in La Liga this season and four of the previous five occasions of the tally after 19 games played in the competition. The Catalan side ended up winning the title. Uh, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2017, 2018, only falling, failing 2013, 2014, second at the end. Barcelona scored in each of the last 18 La Liga games, their best run under Xavi Hernandez, and their best in the competition since November 2020 and May 2020 under Ron Koeman, 26 games, 65 goals. Sevilla have won three of the last four La Liga games um, after failing to win in their previous six in the competition, including a clean sheet loss two. They haven't won three in a row since December 2021, and that was with three games. And the stadiums, of course, at the camp now. Now, before we actually talk about Barcelona, of course, we need to talk about what Sevilla's been doing. So let's actually look at Sevilla, as you guys can see. We already did look at the league table. And coming into this game, Sevilla kind of picked up some good form. You know, picking up those wins against Elche and Cadiz. And then obviously beating um, Getafe as well, which has been impressive. They did tie to Celta Vigo away. They did... Also tied to, um, they did lose to Sociedad at home, Real Sociedad. So, I would say La Liga-wise, the form has been decent. Form has been decent ever since they lost to Girona. So, they've been picking up good form. Um, minus the game, the Copa del Rey, they've been fairly decent so far. Okay. Players to look out for for Sevilla. Of course, we have the player Alex Tellez. you got to look out for him. Uh, Ivan Rakitic, former Barcelona player. Of course, he wants to make a statement. Has his Corona. We know what quality he has. Use him in Naziri. Of course, Bono is a very good goalkeeper. Papa Gomez is decent. Lucas Acampos, Eric Lamella, Jesus Navas, Tengai in, in Niazu is also good. Marcus Acuna, Fernando, Gonziel, Mola Montiel. There's a whole lot of players over here. Walking Carrera as well. And the things with the Sevilla team is that if we notice there and go look at the Lions in particular, they've been playing um, a much more pragmatic. They've been playing a lot more free flowing attack, you know. They're playing Bono and goal, Jesus Navas, Bade Rekic, and the center back position, and they're having Acuna. Now, the last time we played against Sevilla, we played against Sevilla, of course, was in October, I believe. Uh, we won against them three goals to nil on the road. It was actually it was September, sorry, not October, and it was a fairly convincing win. Sevilla, of course, played a 4 3 3. They had Fernando as a CDM playing at the center back. Obviously, this time around, he will not be playing there. We're going to see Rekic probably replace him, and obviously, um, you know, I think things have assured. I think defensively, Sevilla have massively improved. And Barcelona, on the other hand, have kind of somewhat stagnated in their attack. Their attack's not been as free-flowing as it used to be. So, you know, I don't think Barca will destroy them this time, per se. And I do believe Sevilla will probably come into this game with more of a defensive approach. I do think Sevilla will be a lot more defensive. I don't think they'll be... Um... I don't think they'll be playing um, that expansive formation against Barca because, of course, they're going to be very pragmatic. So don't be surprised to see Sevilla play five at the back, well, you know, or play like a four through three defend, like something like that. Like, I think Sevilla will be very defensive. That's what I make clear here. Okay. Now for Barcelona, this is the 11 that I expect to see from Barcelona. Now, this is what is this, is this what I want? Not necessarily. Well, for the most part, this is what I want, but there are some changes I want to make. And you mentioned to you guys, uh, but we'll get to those in the time being. So, obviously, goalkeeper Ter Stegen will obviously start. Jules Kunde will be at the right-back position, no doubt about it whatsoever. Andreas Christensen will obviously slot in at the center-back position. Ronald Araujo will obviously be our center-back. Alejandro Baldu will, of course, be our left-back. And then Busquets, De Jong, and Pedri, of course, being the midfield trio. And then Gavi as well, Lewandowski, Rafinha. So, pretty much the same 11 against Batiste. 
And obviously, Ferran Torres will be back for suspension, so he will be available for this game, which is a huge, huge positive uh, for Barcelona. And I think the question for Xavi in particular is, will Rafinha be able to be consistent? Because we saw in the last game that he had a good game, and now can he do good games back-to-back? Because this is a very crucial game for Rafinha, because Rafinha is now going to have to be our new right winger. He's going to have to essentially replace what Usman Dembele has been doing, because Usman Dembele, criticize him all you will, He's been very, very important to this team in terms of winger play and in terms of goal scoring. This guy has kind of G'd up more this season than last season. So Rafinha is going to have to take that mantle. And I think for Xavi, the big question is, what is going to do with that midfield? Is Are we, are, are we still going to play Gavi in the left wing? Because the thing is, I, as much as I like Gavi, and trust me, I love I like Gavi, I don't really believe that Gavi playing the left wing is very ideal. And I do believe that it only works in few games. And I feel like in this kind of game, it wouldn't make sense because Sevilla will probably be very defensive in this game. And I don't think Sevilla will allow Barcelona. I, I think Sevilla will allow Barcelona to dictate the play. Now, if this was like, let's say against like Real Madrid, Manchester United, Atletico Madrid, maybe Bayern Munich, then we can maybe talk about the possibility. But because this is Sevilla, a team that's probably not going to be looking out to play, they're probably going to be playing for a draw. I don't really believe Gavi being played the left wing is a very intelligent idea. Now, as much as I don't like Ferran Torres, and I don't really like him, I, I, I still don't, I would much rather prefer to have him here because we need him to get some confidence sake, and he also needs to get some match sharpness. He's not played a lot for us in the league, and so I think it's about time we get his match sharpness up, especially for the crucial games coming up this month because they have a lot of crucial games. And, of course, it's a very crucial month for Barcelona because we have tough games away to, of course, Villarreal, and then, of course, at home to Sevilla. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see how this all pans out nicely. With all that being said, I do expect Barcelona to win this game. Of course, Barcelona should be winning this game. And I think the question is not necessarily will Barca win, but how much the score will be for Barcelona. I think that's actually the more appropriate question we should be asking ourselves. And I do believe Barca will keep a clean sheet. Defensively, Barcelona have been really, really solid this season. I think defensively, Barca have had one of the best defenses in Europe's top five leagues, which is very commendable. Um, I think only Juventus is close to us in terms of that. Um, and yeah, I think it's going to be a very, very important game. And of course, it's going to be taking place at the camp now. My score prediction for this game is I believe we're going to win two goals to nil. I think we're going to keep a clean sheet. I think we're going to win two nil at home. And I think this will be very, very massive if we can take home this massive three points. And remember, guys, I'll also be live tomorrow uh, for the post-match reaction to Barcelona Sevilla, so make sure you guys subscribe to get notified, and we're going to go live to talk about this game, guys. We're going to talk about this game. So, like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys agree with me? And let me quickly go down my goal score. So, I'm going to go with Lewandowski to score, and I'm actually going to go with De Jong to score. I was actually tempted to put Pedri, but I don't think Pedri's going to score. I think Pedri's going to have an assist, though. So, that's pretty much it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Of this, I don't know, guys. Um, if you're not considering that like button, hit the subscribe button as well while you're down there. And of course, consider becoming a member of the channel. Make sure you guys check out my mobile post description below, and of course, share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.